What's up, Meister Village, your boy Buckmeister, twice the nice that you are used to. Bam, we are here today, and we are checking out Mung Beach Griffey. So, link in the description down below. Please go check it out for yourselves first. Uh, this is going to be a possibly triggering one, but hey, you know, we do all the things here. So, yeah, if you could just hit that like, that share, that subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you know when I'm dropping videos. Uh, let's do this. Let's go. What's up? What's good, bro? What you up to? Uh, nothing much. Just looking up there old videos and old tweets on celebrities trying to get them canceled. Cancel? Yeah. Um, it's when you jeopardize the livelihood and reputation <laughs> of someone based on something they did in the past. Oh. Why? I'm a part of the most toxic community on the internet. It's what we do. Okay. Yep. We have to hold people accountable for what they've done in the past, regardless of who they are today. We don't judge people based on who they are now. We judge them on who they were. Hmm, I see. Honestly, to cancel someone, it doesn't even have to be something they did in the past. It could be something they did today. Or something we think that they might do tomorrow. Shit. Nowadays, we cancel people for no reason. You can do absolutely nothing. We'll cancel you. The most effective way to cancel someone is to create our own narrative and turn a subgroup against that celebrity. What do you mean? Okay, like J. Cole, for instance. He said in a recent song, it's oh, something go. about <laughs> this go. queen's tone that's bothering me. We took that line, twisted it, and we created the narrative that says, J. Cole is telling black women to watch their tone, telling them to shut the fuck up and sit down. Now J. Cole is a misogynist that hates black women. Is that what he meant? Was that the intent? Probably not, but that's the thing with cancel culture. We create our own narratives. We don't follow logic or facts. We follow the herd. Oh. So, so what do y'all get out of all this? I don't know. But sometimes we bully people into apologizing just to say that their apology isn't sincere. <laughs> it's fucking great. Wow. This, this video isn't even funny. No, this is just actually sad. And it's it, this is life. And I don't even know how to end this video. Fuck. Breaking fourth walls here, bitch? Oh, lordy, 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 lord. And I'm sure that comment section is... But, hey, yeah, I promote discourse amongst black people, and I also want to promote patience. You have to take the time to see all of those skewed perspectives and to try and understand what a person was saying, especially in the black community, because that's how all of this stuff gets perpetuated, honestly, in my opinion. Not to say that it's our fault, I'm not saying that. Oh, God, I'm going to get canceled. I'm not big enough to get canceled. <laughs> but it's not to say that it's our fault. I'm just, I'm, it's, it's just to say that it's, it's uh, not even if it's a responsibility in particular. I mean, you make the choice for yourself, but me personally, I got into a couple of arguments with women online about what J. Cole was saying because I was trying to... First of all, I was trying to really scrutinize what he was saying because, I mean, it's a touchy subject. I would never tell a black woman to watch her tone or how to get mad or how to behave because I, I don't like getting told how to behave when I'm in my feelings. But the the whole thing is is that what's this for each other especially, for black people especially, black men, black women, black gay people, black transphobic people, whatever the case may be. For me, I'm willing to sit down and hear you out because I feel like that's what I owe you. Now, not everybody may feel that way, but that's what I owe you. You know, and if you're a black dude who, if you're a black straight man who's against all of those things, who's transphobic or whatever, I'll sit down and I'll debate you. I'll hear you out because that's what I owe you, personally speaking. That's just me. Anyway. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Thank you so much. If you like this video, I got another one up here. I got a playlist down there. 
and you can click on my icon to subscribe. Remember to ring the bell if you do subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video, because my man's got to be out. Peace.